You're welcome. Now on this beautiful hot summer's night, I'm going to do a chill out time. And uh, this is going to be me trying a new beverage. So yes, that's right. I'm going to try yerba mate for the first time ever. So today is going to be an ASMR style or ASMR <laughs> style uh, video, a chill out video. And uh, I'm going to show you how I make uh, yerba mate for the very first time. Okay, just a little something before I continue. I'm not officially an ASMR channel. However, I do ASMR videos as a chill out time every now and then. So if you wish to see more videos, much ASMR chill out videos from me, the playlist is linked in the description below. So let's continue. So what I've actually seen and heard around, what you actually need is, first of all, a gourd. Now, this is supposed to be, I mean, the original traditional style is supposed to be a natural gourd, which is, you know, it's just, I think it's a sort of vegetable or something, and it's got a hard outer shell. Now, this thing is um, modern gourd. In other words, it's not actually a natural gourd. It's a, it's a bit of glass. It's made of hardened glass so it can handle the matte temperature, and uh, it's got a surrounding leather uh, covering on it. So it's like a, it's a modern especially for mate glass. So you need a gourd and uh, you will need this. I haven't opened but I'm excited about it. Now this is a bambilla and uh, it is, this one, this particular one is called a guitar bambilla. As you can see it's like a guitar ship. And um, it's got a, it's a filter, it's like a filter straw. And uh, you know, so you, you drink through this and obviously the mate goes in there without the, uh, the mate stuff, the actual herbs and powder and stuff, you know, it filters it. So this is, uh, I mean, the, the, they come in different shapes and sizes. This thing is known to be the work of art itself you know, in a mate drink. This is what I love the idea of uh, yerba mate, the beverage itself, because it is quite artistic. Uh, it's quite an artistic beverage. And that is just perfect for me. Okay, so this itself is the yerba mate. And uh, yeah, it's one kilo of yerba mate. <laughs> And uh, you're probably wondering what the freak yerba mate is if you don't know already. Yerba mate is basically a plant grown in Latin America and um, places like Argentina and Paraguay. This particular one, Rosamante, is from Argentina and uh, it's an infusion similar to tea, but I don't think I would call it tea. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be very good for you. Um, and uh, you can even add sugar, but no. Honey, may, honey, probably, maybe, but sugar is not going anywhere near this thing because if you know from my last tea video, tea testing video, which if you haven't seen, uh, links in the description or in the, you know, top corner letter I thing, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um, I am against sugar. I really am. Now, now that I found out brown sugar or demerara sugar is just as bad, I'm not gonna touch it. So it's honey all the way, unless I really desperately need an Arabic coffee. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so with this stuff, you're supposed to make this in a natural gourd. And uh, gourd, as I know, is a vegetable, an outer shell of a vegetable. And it's hardened or something like this, as far as I know. <laughs> and uh, those of you who know me will know that, you know, I like to try things, you know, as authentic as possible. I like to have the most authentic experience as possible. And, uh, you know, why have I then bought a a mate gourd, which is not a natural gourd, it's like a modern style mate gourd. When you have a natural one, you're supposed to, you know, you have to cure it. Now, if you don't cure it properly, it's got a chance of uh, growing mold. And, uh, you know, it's even, you have to keep it in the right um, conditions as well. I think not too hot, not too cold, or not too dry and not too, you know, wet. So it's kind of so it doesn't crack or something like this. So either you have to keep it at the right place. So I'm kind of not, I'm not so, I'm new to this. So I'm not so confident about that at the moment. <laughs> so I thought, you know, let's just go for a natural gourd and uh, see how it goes. And I haven't tried it. Maybe I will not like mate, who knows? But, you know, I hope to like it. I, you know, expect to like it. <laughs> 
So where did I first hear about Yerba Mate? And uh, well, I first heard about it um, when, you know, from the Middle East, actually. <laughs> Even though it's originally from Latin America, it's actually been a popular in uh, Lebanon and Syria since around the 70s, I think. You know, and I had a friend from Syria, a couple of friends from Syria who, you know, drank uh, mate a lot. And they drank in front of me and I was wondering, I was curious about it, you know, wondering what it was. So, yeah, I was, um, that's where I first heard about it. And uh, I was curious until now. Now, there was a couple of people in on my tea video, my tea testing video, to suggest trying yerba mate. And I just thought, yeah, why not? Now is the time. And I can share my first experience with you all as well. Okay, so to recap again, for yerba mate, the gourd and bombilla, the uh, mate itself. Actually, this comes in, uh, this I saw in the red, like you have rosa mate, you have the red and you have the blue one. The red one has the twigs inside, so I kind of like decided now I'll just like spend a little bit more and just get the one without the freaking twigs. <laughs> Anyway, um, you need uh, the yerba mate. You can get this in different, you know, different places, different blend. Uh, there's a difference between them. Um, the best thing to, you know, hold the not the hot water, not the boiling water, but the hot water is best thing to keep it is in the thermos because it keeps it regulates the temperature. And uh, I have a thermos here, which uh, I had already. I later found out that this rosa mante is classed as quite a strong mate, and uh, on top of that, it's without the stems, so I bought that one instead. See, si, es sin palos, <laughs> and uh, this means it concentrates it, so you need kind of less for the same effect, and uh, hence why my first experience of it was, you know, that it's quite strong. And um, later on, I had filled only half the gourd with it and began to enjoy it. Though after talking to friends around here and there, I've come across two other brands which I wish to try, such as Cruz de Malta, which is supposed to be medium strength, and uh, Gayaki, which is supposed to be also medium strength, but with floral tones. So for sure, they will be a part two Yerba Mate Chill Out Taste Test and the comparison video at some point in future. And as well as the thermos, you also need some cold water. So here we have the cold water and I'll show you exactly the process. So let's go, I'll take you to the stove and I'll show you exactly what point to heat it up. Okay, so with uh, yerba mate, we're not supposed to boil the water completely because we're supposed to preserve the nutrients. Boiling the water will just take all the nutrients, you know, destroy them. So. We're supposed to heat the water up to like 82 degrees or something like this, but I mean, you know, I don't have a thermometer. <laughs> I'm sure many people are not going to be bothered with that. So I've heard that, you know, a rule of thumb kind of thing is to when you start seeing the diddly bubbles, diddly bubbles, <laughs> you can start seeing them now. Okay, so we're seeing the diddly little bubbles here and now you stop because it will start to boil and you don't want that. So just see these and that's it. So we now have the hot water here with the diddly bubbles <laughs> and uh, you know it's of course again I'm saying it's not boiled uh, actually I need to wash this out give me a moment <laughs> so normally what I would do is actually fill this uh, thermos here with um, the water this uh, temperature water here so that you know it regulates it and it keeps it at that temperature so you can keep refilling your mate and uh, you know Again, I have to say, this is my first ever time preparing and trying mate, so I'm excited and all that. So go easy. <laughs> and uh, you know, I may get stuff wrong and all that. So yeah, as I said, go easy on me. Uh, okay, so we have the hot water there. However, let's open our mate first. Okay, so this is what yerba mate looks like just very dry herb kind of look it smells nice it smells like very herby a little bit I have to say a little bit newspapery to be honest <laughs> and uh, hmm. so let's uh, it's got a little, it's very dusty and uh, yeah there is a way to kind of there's, there's a technique for that so yeah the first thing you gotta do is fill your uh, mate gourd about uh, two-thirds this much 
full of nothing. So let's do that. So much dust. Oh, I'd say about that much. Maybe a touch too much, but actually that's kind of a touch too much. I think. Yeah, around this much. That'll do. Okay, so now with this, the first thing you do is um, you put your hand over it like this and you give it, you turn it over and you give it a bit of a shake. And this is to get the dust out of it. So you give it a bit of a shake and you turn it back down and you will see a lot of dust on your hand. Can you see that, uh, that uh, ring of dust there? Now that you kind of, you know, I don't know. Let's try another one, maybe. There wasn't that much dust that came out. Give it a good check. A bit more dust. <laughs> so just, you know, you dig this a bit so that it's uneven. Yeah. So you kind of have a little bit of a hole there to put your bambilla. And uh, yeah, so your bambilla goes all the way down there. So that's what you call a water hole. Now, before you put the hot water in, you put the cold water in, and you let the um, the mate absorb the cold water as much as cold water as you can so let's kind of like put wow that is quickly absorbed <laughs> so yeah I do that i'm so excited about this okay so that's i'm not gonna put any more in so that's the cold water up so whoa that is dry stuff now the reason why you put cold water in it first because you wanted to let let it absorb the cold water so it absorbs as much as that as possible before you put the, the warm water in simply because what you're trying to do is preserve the nutrients in here you want to preserve as much as you can so the water cannot be boiling or as the nutrients the vitamins and all the so, you know all that will be destroyed and uh, you on top of that, you let it soak up the cold water before you put the warm water in. So you let this stay like this with the cold water for like, I'd say like a minute or something. And then once you've done that, then you put the, the hot water in there. You put the hot water in and you fill it up with the hot water. And that's what you do, you keep topping this up with hot water and you just kind of like let it sit for a while. Okay, I've made a huge mess here because of the... <laughs> the reason why I haven't filled the thermos up just yet is first of all, I'm trying to, I just want to try it. Secondly, uh, I want to taste, uh, I want to experiment a little bit with this. What I want to do is, um, I've got some raw honey and uh, no, full, full and natural raw honey. And uh, I'm gonna, you know, boil some, well not boil some, heat some honey with this and try it with honey water after I've tried it straight like this. So it's kind of, uh... okay, so let's try a bit of a taste here. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that is strong. <laughs> freaking, oh, that is freaking strong. Oh. very strong it tastes like a bit ashy <laughs> i did not heat it up too much probably heat it up too less um it tastes a bit like tobacco a little bit uh, mixed with tea the flavor i think it's an acquired taste i have to say <laughs> that is strong oh my god that is strong <laughs> okay so i'm back now and what i've actually done here and i've added a spoon of um, raw honey raw natural honey and uh yeah let's add this <laughs> if the taste is nicer i will definitely have it with honey sugar is definitely a no i'm not even gonna end it in the thought Okay, so here we have, okay, you know 
something, it's okay. It's all right. It's much more bearable with the honey. Actually, you know, the honey and this, it's not bad. I like it. Do you know something? I had a flavor in my mind, what this would taste like. And the flavor I had in my mind was matcha tea. <laughs> I just, for some reason, I had uh, a feeling that it was gonna taste like uh, this matcha tea. And this I'm preserving, kind of. It is a uh, matcha tea, very soft, very soft, so fluffy, soft. <laughs> and um, I love matcha, you know, I love uh, the taste of it. So I actually thought that, you know, it's it's gonna taste a bit like matcha, and it's stronger. But no, matcha has a different taste. And by the way, as I said, I'm preserving this matcha. This one is all the way from Japan. And uh, my Lebanese friend, um, he's back in Lebanon now, but when he was studying in Japan, he sent me some matcha. He sent me this, he sent me a big matcha packet and some matcha sweets. And he's the one who actually got me a matcha. So Ahmed, thank you so much <laughs> if you're watching. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice. You know something, I am actually very blessed. Very blessed because I have some very nice friends around the world. Really, I have and I love each and every one of you. Um, and it's like my friend from, uh, my friend Brian from Denmark, a casual commodore, just sent me these. And uh, these are Danish chocolates. Um, there's like here this intense orange dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate by the way and it has to be good quality dark chocolate. It cannot be any of the supermarket freaking bleh. <laughs> we have intense mint. We have just the, you know, the cocoa. All these are 85% dark chocolate. And no, they're not bitter because with dark chocolate you're supposed to eat it uh, differently. You're supposed to let it melt on your tongue. You're not supposed to chew it and chomp it like you do with normal chocolate, like you're gonna be doing it for survival or something. <laughs> you're supposed to let it melt on the tongue and do that. See, those of you who know me know that I'm absolutely crazy about chili. But um, I was actually fearing, am I gonna like chili in uh, chocolate? Uh, because I have had chili chocolate before, but uh, I don't think the brand was as good. And it just felt spicy, bitter. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, I had, you know, a couple of these and it was not that spicy and I let it melt and it was actually nice. It was like smooth yet prickly at the same time, but smooth. There's not so much heat. So I do recommend Lindt um, chili chocolate. Okay, the second one, the second fill feels a bit better. So now I know you know, why you can have this for ages, this one, you know, I nearly spilled it then. <laughs> you can have this for ages when you, if you fill this up with the water and keep it and it will retain its temperature and you can just like keep refilling this. Oops. Okay, so let's just have this tiny piece here. Okay, so what I have done here is um, I've removed, you know, three teaspoons of uh, mate from this, just three teaspoons, and uh, I've refilled it with the, um, refilled the gourd with the honey water. So let's test it now and see what it's like. Okay. Now I like it. That, the bitterness, I'm um, gone. Seriously, the bitterness is gone. Oh, that's nice. It's like, it's balanced out now. It's like the, um, you have the honey, the flavor of the honey a bit, and you have the mate, and it's like equal now. Because the mate was just strong. It, it literally felt like you had um, lots of, it felt like you had lots of um, tea inside your your tea, <laughs> like too much to the point where it is it is like ashes. 
if you know what I mean. I was really, to be honest with you, I was disappointed earlier. I just felt I'm not gonna like it too much. And I really, really wanted to like Mate. I really did because I was one of those things where, come on, it's just, it's a work of art. You know, the, it's a art of a beverage. You have the gourd, you have the bambija, and this one is a guitar bambija. I love it. And um, that, and the way you drink it, the way you sip it, the way you keep refilling it. I love this kind of thing. This is just me. Perfect. <laughs> you know. Yes, I love this. <laughs> I'm happy now. I'm very happy now. Um, yes, yeah, so for me, to my taste, little less mate. So instead of two thirds, maybe I'll do it just a touch over her. her, her <laughs> Sorry, just a touch over half. You know the the um, the gourd here so that is perfecto for me and honey water and the you know raw natural honey water and that is perfecto so first thing tomorrow morning what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fill this up this uh, thermos with uh, honey water and uh, i will and that is another reason why i didn't use the thermos today because um you know it's like it's 1 30 a.m in the you know nice hot summer's night because i mean if i have it early in the morning before i have any breakfast you know my body will use the nutrients and i think that will be very good for me uh, including that uh, honey that raw honey this is not the supermarket honey this is quite you know my brother got some raw honey and he left us a little bit in a jar as well and i can taste the difference it's like that manuka honey Actually, you know what? Let's try the um, let's try the chili chocolate. I kind of like want to try that. I mean, I've tried it, but I want to have some more <laughs> because I kind of like it. It's not you're not it's not it doesn't burn your mouth. And you know something? I do love chili to burn my mouth, <laughs> but um, not in chocolate. Do you know what I'm saying? In um, spicy food, that's fine. There's some chocolate on here. So, thank you so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios.